All right, guys. So today we're going to talk about two more prisms. And the first one we're starting with is what we call a trapezoidal prism. And it's called a trapezoidal prism, sorry, um, because the base is indeed a trapezoid. And so remember, we define a prism based on the shape of the base. And the base is considered two congruent sides. So here we have two things. And so we have two formulas, which is going to be the same for all of them. We have our lateral area, which is just perimeter times height of the prism. And remember, height of the prism is the distance from one base to the opposite base. And then we have our total surface area formula, which is your lateral area plus two times area of the base. Now, here we're going to substitute in what we know. We have lateral area, which was perimeter times height of the prism and two times area of the base. Now, if you don't remember what the area of the base of a trapezoid, we need the height of the base or the height of the trapezoid. And so it, the area for a trapezoid would be base one plus base two divided by two times height of the base. And so over here we have a different prism. Now, once again, we're gonna define it or we're gonna label it or, or name it based on the shape of the base. And so if you notice, my base has six sides. And so because it has six sides, it is a hexagon, or in this case, it's going to be a hexagonal prism. Now, if you had, let's say, a pentagon, then it would be a pentagonal prism. If you had maybe like a figure with eight sides, it would be an octagonal prism, so, so, so on and so forth. And so we calculate your lateral area by perimeter times height, and once again, it's height of the prism, so the height is the distance between one base and the other base. And we have our surface area, which once again is just your lateral area plus two times the base. And so that would really look like perimeter times height plus two times area of a regular polygon. Um, if you don't remember the formula, it is one half the apothem times perimeter. And remember, the apothem is going to go from the center perpendicular to a side. So let's actually try to do one of these problems. So here's the first problem. It says find the lateral and total surface area of the trapezoidal prism below. And once again, we know it's a trapezoidal because the base is the shape of a trapezoid. So we're going to start off with lateral area down here. So remember, lateral area is just perimeter times height. So the first thing is we identify the height of the prism, which is the distance from one base to the other base, which in this case is 9. So here, the height of the prism is 9. The second thing we got to figure out is what's the perimeter of the base. So if you notice, this 5 measures the length of this side here, and it's also going to be 5 down here. Um, this top part, this top base, or base 1 or base 2, it doesn't matter, is 4, and that one down here is 10. So remember, finding the perimeter of any shape, you just add up all the sides. So in this case, we have 5 plus 5 plus 6 plus 4, which gives me a perimeter of 20. And so to find my lateral area, I simply multiply the perimeter, which was 20, times the height of the prism, which was 9, and that gives me the lateral area to be 180 feet. And so moving on to total surface area. Total surface area, remember, is just your lateral area plus 2 times the base. So the lateral area, we already know it's 180 feet. Let's worry about B, or the area of the base. So area of the base, because it's a, a trapezoid, we're going to use base 1 plus base 2 divided by 2 times 
height of the base, not height of the prism, height of the base, which in this case, the height of my base is four. My base one is four and base two, I'm gonna call it six. And so I have everything I need to find the area of the base. So now I'm just gonna substitute in what I know. I know the base one is four. I know base two is six. I know I'm gonna divide that by two and multiply it by the height of the base, which is four. And so when I do that, that gives me a base area of just one of the bases of 20. And so now I have the base, I have lateral area. All I gotta do now is just substitute in what I know. I know the, the lateral area was 180. And I just found out that the area of one of the bases is 20. And so here, all I'm doing is simplifying. So one, sorry, so two times 20 is 40. And 180 plus 40 gives me a total surface area of 220 feet squared. Oh, and I forgot the squared for my lateral area down here. All right, guys, moving on to the last problem. Now we have a hexagonal prism, and we're trying to find the same two things, lateral area and total surface area. So we begin with lateral area. So once again, lateral area is just perimeter of the base times height of the prism. Height of the prism is a distance from one base to the other base. And so here, the height of my prism is 25. And to find the perimeter is, because it's a regular hexagon, um, the perimeter, we simply multiply six times the number of sides. And because it's a hexagon, we got six sides. So six times six gives us a perimeter of 36. And so the lateral area is just the perimeter, which we found to be 36 times the height of the prism, which is 25, which gives us a lateral area of 900 inches squared. So now let's talk about how to find total surface area. So once again, total surface area is simply your lateral area plus two times your base, which in this case, the base is a hexagon so we gotta be able to find for uh, the area of a regular hexagon so lateral area we already know it's 900 um, so we have to figure out what is the area of the base so area of a regular polygon we're going to use the formula one half the apothem times the perimeter now in this case they gave us the apothem the apothem is 5.2 and we found the perimeter earlier to be 36 inches. So to find the area of the base, I simply plug it into the formula, one half apothem, which is 5.2 times perimeter, which is 36, gives me a base area of 93.6 inches squared. And so to find the total surface area, I simply plug in what I know. Lateral area was 900 and I just found the one of the bases to be 93.6 and so I put that in the calculator, add it all up and I get a total surface area of 1087.2 inches squared.